Hello friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel and in this video I am going to solve some questions of CSAT paper of 2020. So let's begin. Without any wasting time, let's begin. So the first one and two question is of Cellulism and to solve these questions one must read the uh, instructions carefully. What has been written? Each of the following two items consist of four statements of two of these four statements two cannot be true okay and but both can be false so we have to choose those two contradictory or uh, two statement that is not true but both can be false okay this is the crux huh. study the statement carefully and identify the statement that satisfy the above condition select the correct answer correct answer using the codes okay let's begin so the number one question asks the all animals are carnivorous some animals are not carnivorous animals are not carnivorous and some animals are carnivorous see if you see the statement to aisa lag raha hai ki like 2 and 4 would be the right answer direct assume we will assume that 2 and 4 will be the right answer but we need to understand what the question has asked the question has asked the, we have to choose two statement that cannot be true and that are contradictory to each other okay so what is this all animals are wait all animals are carnivorous and animals are not carnivorous these are so contradictory like if you just see the question statement number two or uh, some statements are not carnivorous and some animals are carnivorous two and four statements are right in their own way but the question the demand of the question is we have to choose the contradictory statements so will not so the right answer will be one and three understood next questions <coughs> sorry for the bad truth and examine the following statements and elect the correct answer using the codes given below the statement so again uh, same like one we have to uh, solve the second question as well all trains are run by diesel engine all trains are run by diesel engine some trains are run by diesel engine and next is no trains are run by diesel engine and some trains are not run by diesel engine see again 1 and 3 is the right answer here also and 2 or 4 will be right actually in real sense 2 or 4 will be right but in the as per the demand of the question 1 and 3 is right understood why because in one statement it is said that all trains are run by diesel that's also false and no train is run by diesel so also false both are false but at the same time both are contradictory to each other all and no that's that's how you have to solve I hope I am clear. Next question. A journey starts from north to, towards south. Then there are four consecutive left turns. Now the journey heading to C. What is asking here? A journey start towards south. Then four consecutive left. Its left is this side. Okay. So one left. Again two left. Three left. Four left. And again is going. So. So this and uh, now now the journey is heading towards obviously south only so that's the answer so easy now next question if it is sunny i'm wet if i wear a raincoat i sweat see pause the video and read all the uh, this long paras huh because it will take some time we'll direct so solve like when it's sunny someone is wet and when it raincoats when it when he or she wear raincoat it's he sweat and rains dry and wind sweat evaporates so the question ask about rain coat penta hai, rain may and wind so to what happens it first it will uh, he will be he or she will be dry then it will sweat and the at last sweat evaporates so the answer would be so the answer would be the i sweat and i my sweat evaporates this d okay you have to what you need to do is to break down the question then only answer is hidden in the question itself okay just do it see now this question question number five there are four person in a queue the front position can be occupied by a female who is graduate the last position can be occupied by a graduate the second position cannot be occupied by someone who studies beyond 10th grade the third position can be occupied by anyone hmm. so the question says that the minimum number of female graduate in the queue is 
this long statement is just for making us confused in the examination hall baki the actual answer lies in the first statement itself the first position can be occupied a female who is graduate so yahan pe kya bola ek female ko graduate hona one female will be in line there will be one female okay minimum one female uske baad to kabhi bhi ye nahi bola na see graduate bola not graduate or not beyond 10 grade bola but gender ki baat to nahi aayi to here the question comes is like only one is the minimum number of female graduate there may be a maximum number but minimum would be one this is the answer that's how we should find answer in our question itself we'll solve another questions and you will get to know about it like this one also a candidate attempts 12 questions and secured full marks in all of them if she obtained 60% in the test and all questions carried equal marks then what was the total number of the question in the test see what are the datas we have 12 questions equal to 60% okay that's two means one question is equal to if we consider is 60% uh, na soch ke 60 marks okay just make it the sum easy 60 marks to so one question would be of 60 by 12 equal to 5 marks hmm? then if 5 marks then it, now the question you have to do is like 60% of 60% of 100 is 60 so 100% would be 100 so uh, after uh, options me se dekh ke you need to calculate and multiply 20 or every number to with 5 so that the answer will be 100 because total percentage is 100 always hmm or marks is 100 so 15 into 5 equal to uh, 75 no 100 25 into 5 125 it will cross 100 and 13 into 5 it's 150 it will again cross the 100 mark so the answer would be only 20 because it 20 into 5 equal to 100 means 100% So that was how the question is solved. Now this question: A clock is set right at five a.m. The clock loses sixty minutes, sixteen minutes in every twenty-four hours. What will be the right time when the clock indicates ten p.m. on the fourth day? See some of the things you need to have attention, or you know, like so. First is five a.m. Then sixty minutes in every twenty-four hours. then again as the 10th see the pm and fourth day okay that only you need to remember now we will solve it like now we will solve like this 5 am say it starts to next 5 am 3 4th and this comes the fourth days fourth day ka ye 10 pm tak theek hai 10 pm means how many days are here three days only okay Three days we have done it, and from five a.m. to ten p.m. it's seventeen hours. We have calculated it this much. Twenty-four hour me sixteen minutes loses. So one hour me sixteen by twenty-four minute it will lose. So the first calculate three days me kitna it will lose forty-eight minutes. Okay. Next we have to calculate a three days ka then the seventeen hours as well. So seventeen hour me. it will do 16 by 12 or it will come around 11.33 minutes so by summing up both it will come as 59.33 or 1 hour so the 1 hour what is question is asked 10 pm theek hai 10 pm is showing in the mirror uh, showing in the clock so or 1 hour is ahead it loses 1 hour to means the right answer would be added to the 10 pm so 11 pm 11 pm will be the right answer what's that so 11 pm is the right answer so it is it's becoming very difficult to do all the steps in the phone so but still you have requested so that's why i'm making this video to help at least one or two person if if this video helps at least one or two person i will be very grateful and it will satisfy myself so that's why i'm making this video acha next which is greater than 0.5 you have to calculate this or come by only by elimination like if you divide 9 by 4.5 it will obviously 2 then comes 4.5 divided by 9 it will be obviously very less next 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 it will be 0.25 which is again less than 0.5 and 2.5 multiplied by 0.9 it will be 0. uh 45 so again it will be less than 5 so answer would be a 
नेक्स्ट द वेट ऑफ ए ब्रिक इज वन किलोमीटर सॉरी वन के जी इफ ऑल द डायमेंशन ऑफ द ब्रिक आर डबल्ड वट विल बी द वेट ऑफ द ब्रिक सी हाउ इज द ब्रिक लुक लाइक्स लाइक दिस वे ना इट हैज सम हाइट लाइक दिस हाइट लेंथ एंड दिस विथ सॉरी हाइट लेंथ एंड दिस विथ मीन्स वन 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 के जी इफ इट विल बी डबल्ड ओके डबल्ड तो मीन्स थ्री का क्यूब डबल्ड होगा ना तो इट विल बी एट के जी ओके लाइक यू विल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू विल इंक्रीज दिस यू विल इंक्रीज दिस एंड यू विल इंक्रीज दिस सो हाउ मच इट विल लाइक दिस इट विल बी एट किलोमीटर एट के जी वॉट आई हैव डूइंग ओके नेक्स्ट इन ए मैथ्स क्लास ऑफ थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स सेवेंटी सेवेंटीन आर गुड इन मैथ्स नाइनटीन आर गुड इन साइंस टू आर नीदर गुड इन मैथमेटिक्स नॉर इन साइंस हाउ मेनी आर गुड इन बोथ मैथ्स एंड हेयर इज द आंसर लाइक यू हैव टू डू फर्स्ट हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर टोटल स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर थर्टी टोटल स्टूडेंट ओके वी विल मेक अ बॉक्स इन इट थर्टी टोटल स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट दिस राउंड सर्कल इज फॉर मैथ्स एंड दिस राउंड सर्कल इज फॉर साइंस ओके टू तो साइंस में कितने थे नाइनटीन एंड मैथ्स में कितने सेवेंटीन एंड टू आर नीदर इन गुड नीदर गुड इन साइंस नॉर इन मैथ्स सो नाउ द वी हैव वट वी नीड टू अप्लाई वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट टोटल स्टूडेंट इज थर्टी एंड टू आर नीदर नो गुड एट एनी सब्जेक्ट सो द रिमेनिंग वुड बी ट्वेंटी एट आर गुड मतलब ट्वेंटी एट आर गुड इन बोथ मैथ साइंस और एनी वन सब्जेक्ट दैट्स क्लियर मैंने जो थर्टी मान स्टूडेंट आसे दूटा एक एक सब्जेक्ट भल ना तो कि हम ट्वेंटी एट सब ट्वेंटी एट जो मैंने भल हम सायस मैथ्स एने हम न तो वी नीड टू एप्लाई बट द क्वेश्चन आस्क टू फाइंड आउट द स्टूडेंट हु आर गुड एट बोथ मैथ्स एंड साइंस सो वी नीड टू अप्लाई द ऑप्शन हेयर वट वेयर द ऑप्शन लाइक फर्स्ट वेयर टू इफ यू पुट अच्छा वेट हाँ वट वेयर द ऑप्शन टू थर्टीन इलेवन एट सो द ऑप्शन इज टू इलेवन थर्टीन एट ओके we need to choose the correct from this this only so if we find if we put option 2 here 2 is correct it's not huh. then how means 17 my 2 uh, 17 minus 2 here 15 there uh, in maths there would be 15 and in uh, in science it will be 17 so now add these three 15 plus 2 Seventeen, seventeen plus seventeen, it will be thirty-four. But uh, we need answer of twenty-eight. Okay, remember this. So, to answer two will be not. Next come eleven. Put eleven here. Then it it will be six here and eight here. Plus it eight six fourteen fourteen eleven twenty-five. Only twenty-five. Again wrong answer. Then put twelve. Uh, no, thirteen was there. No, it was thirteen. So put thirteen here. So it will be five, and here it's six. Third, thirteen, five, six, eleven means twenty-four. Again, is there a wrong answer? Then put if you put eight here, then nine plus eleven, then uh, plus it eleven plus nine, twenty, and twenty plus eight, twenty-eight. This is the answer. Twenty-eight plus here two. It's total thirty students. Hope you are understood. What I understood? Okay. Next, here the answer is in the question itself. A box contains five red balls and a six blue balls. Balls are drawn one by one from the box. After five such draws, at the most, how many times there will be possibility that the drawn ball is a red one? How many balls are there? Eleven. Six plus five, eleven. Okay. And if सी हियर इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट मैक्सिमम पॉसिबिलिटी तो मैक्सिमम फाइव टाइम्स में क्या हो सकता है पाँच बार में पाँच रेड बॉल ही आ सकते हैं इससे ज़्यादा छः तो बॉल आएंगे नहीं चार तो आएंगे नहीं पाँच मैक्सिमम पॉसिबिलिटीज पूछ रहे हैं ना जीरो तो होंगे नहीं तो इसलिए मैक्सिमम पॉसिबिलिटी विल भी फाइव 
just simple as that but this question seems very easy but in the examination hall na our mind doesn't work it work when we are calm like uh, now i am teaching uh, like i am now i am saying na so it will work but when examination hall ka pressure hi alag hota hai it's totally it's completely different so their dimag just doesn't run much next question if a train of length 1 km runs at a speed of 60 km per hour how much time will it need to cross a bridge of 1 km length so from here you should understand that 60 km per hour means 1 km per minute it's very easy so 1 km per minute it's the okay hmm. 1 km per minute so here is the sorry here is the train subse first it this is the bridge and it crosses the bridge of 1 km here 1 km here is is the head engine or so you can say again it crosses first 1 km then its pura entire body its body is also one for 1 km na so body also crosses like first it is come the engine comes here and then here so it will take 2 km so 2 km means 2 minutes understood so 2 km means 2 minute now here is also uh, the syllogism question comes two statements are given below followed by two conclusion one and two you have to consider the statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance from commonly known facts obviously syllogism mein aise hi hota so the question says uh, sorry the statement says some horses are domestic animals okay and domestic animals like human contacts next is some horses do not like human contacts okay because some are domestic animals no then comes all those who like human contacts are domestic animals no this is very extreme statement and this cannot be correct here it is not say anywhere that all the uh, all those animals who like human contact uh, human contact are domestic animals so only one conclusion follows from the given statement so today i am stopping here till question number 13 will solve in the next question and will try to some solve all these questions in three videos maximum one video in rc for completely for rc reading comprehension and one for another you know reasoning or maths wala part so we'll solve it and if you like the video do share with your friends and thank you for watching